We're here at DareConf, the Digital People's Skills Conference, and we've got the great opportunity to catch one of the speakers. Uh, what's your name, where do you work, and what do you do, please? Uh, so my name is Lee Bryant. Uh, my company's called PostShift, and we work in sort of new forms of organizational design and structure. Brilliant, thank you. Um, so you were here talking today and sharing a lot about your experiences in, in managing teams and collaboration. Um, for someone who's leading digital teams, what's the, the, the biggest challenge in, in motivating a, a team of digital people? I think it depends. I mean, in my experience, digital people are highly motivated by the quality of the work that they produce. So I think one of the worst things is taking a creative or a very intellectual process and then turning that into a factory and saying, give me another one of those, give me another one of those. You've got two hours to do this design or whatever. So I think the first thing is it starts from recognizing the respect that they have for their own work and letting them lead you in terms of how much time is required to do that successfully or what are the best conditions to do that, to do that successfully. And you spoke in your, um, in your talk about management styles and, and some of them that you show were, were quite unconventional. I mean, there's lots you could talk about, but if you're going to say what do you recommend or what do you, what do you find works in your experience, what's the type of management approach you think for successfully managing a digital team? I think um, it relates to the last point, really, because the best, the best approach is uh, to be a supporter, not um, a manager. So, you know, create the conditions where they can succeed, help them solve problems that take their focus away from their work, um, and generally keep things running, rather than think that you know best and you can tell them what to do and just task them, task them, task them. Um, so I think sort of, you know, a supporter leader is more important than a manager in a conventional sense. And how do you encourage uh, people in a collaborative team to take ownership of, of those projects and their work? Interesting. I think there's loads of techniques to use. Um, I think, first of all, giving them permission is uh, vital. Um, telling them that even if they make a mistake, you'll support them and you'll solve it together. I think that's also really important. Um, but sometimes it's just a question of taking a step back because you may not realize that your presence on a team or your presence in a process is the reason that people don't step up and take ownership. And just finally, in terms of um, the needs or challenges around skills at the moment, what do you think the biggest uh, issues are in the industry right now? Well, there's obviously a shortage of some key tech skills. So, you know, let's say data scientists or really good developers in certain areas. I think, you know, UX skills remain really, really important. But I think the bit that we're all missing is the sort of, you know, social science skills, the people skills. So ethnographic observation, you know, a knowledge of anthropology, a knowledge of psychology, you know, behavior, motivation, these things. I think these are the bits that we often miss um, in the work that we do. So I think those we'll see more of in the near future. Wow. And this is a bit off script, but um, schools, are they really going to associate the need to link IT with those kind of subjects? Schools haven't got the first clue how to teach IT full stop. Um, they probably should just give it up um, and just give people time to play with computers instead. Um, so there's a real problem in the way that schools produce workers into the economy. You know, that worked in the early 20th century, um, but it doesn't work today. And that's why many of the successful people that we see are dropouts or, you know, unconventional people in some way. And if anyone wants to follow you or um, read some of your work, what, where should they uh, hook up you? Um, so uh, we haven't really launched, but our website is postshift.com, um, and I'm Lee Bryant on Twitter. Thanks, Lee. Real pleasure chatting to you. Nice to meet you. Cheers. Source LF are London's leading creative communications and media recruitment agency. Be sure to like our video and subscribe to this channel. Take the moment to watch another of our videos on screen now.